G'day Ziggy D here, it's around 10.30pm here in Australia, so the first day of patch 1.0.7 in Diablo 3 is pretty much drawing to a close for me. Uh, I've had a pretty good play session of uh, doing GOM runs, farming, crafting plans uh, with a lot of you guys actually. I think I've had a chance to play with about 12 of you guys, 12 subscribers, and it's been a lot of fun. All you guys have been re really super friendly and awesome farmers too. Some of you guys are really good farmers. So, um, done some pretty pretty sick clears and actually got some pretty good loot. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a recap of my experience of the first day of the patch and some of the things that stood out to me uh, as pretty awesome. So first, let's take a look, bit of a look at my loot that I uh, managed to pull in over today. So, uh, let's. I've had two legendary drops today, so that was pretty cool. I had this uh, sledge of whatever, blah, <laughs> two-handed uh, unique weapon here, legendary, that I've, I've actually never gotten dropped before. So that was cool, but I don't th imagine it's worth anything. Probably a brimstone, but that's fine. I can use that to craft with. But I also got this Immortal King's chest piece, so uh, that that sh should be sub worth somewhere around 15 million. So that, that was pretty good. pretty good drop for a, a, a couple hours play, actually. I'm pretty satisfied with that over just three to four hours. Now, in terms of the actual plants, I've been getting tons of these uh, non-1.0.7 plants. If you guys have been doing a bit of farming, I'm sure uh, you guys are probably seeing a lot of these too. I'm pretty sure that the drop rate for these got buffed along with the drop rate for the 1.0.7 uh, plans as well. So, I don't really know what's going on with that, but <laughs> lots and lots of those plans are dropping now. I believe the legendary ones are still just as rare as they were before. So, if you're getting any of those, then you're doing pretty luckily. Oh, I found an okay gold find amulet that might be worth a couple thousand. Uh, I've managed to get 30 demonic essences from just plan farming, so doing GOM runs uh, between Monster Power 0 and Monster Power 3 I think was the highest I probably went up to. Uh, anything beyond that I'm finding not too efficient really. Uh, I still think for myself Monster Power 0 is the fastest, but I was playing with a lot of barbarians and some really fast monks today, and um, those guys can farm much better on higher monster powers, so running along with you guys actually, I was kind of getting carried a little bit in monster power 3, uh, so that was really cool and got some cool drops from that. I've had one amulet drop so far, and it's amulet of intelligence, so that's pretty cool, I'm going to use that to craft uh, some amulets for my um, wizard. Uh, I've, I've gotten the Archon Gauntlets of Dexterity, so that was pretty good, I just got that and the uh, Razor Spikes of Dexterity in, in the last half hour actually, so they, they were pretty good drops to finish off the day. And I got some Braces of Intelligence and uh, Spoilers of Vitality, I might end up crafting those, and I also grabbed some Strength ones and Vitalities. Now I've been watching the uh, market on the Auction House for these plans, and none of these are really worth over 1 million, so uh, their, their price has dropped fairly substantially very, uh, very quickly, so just as I expected, because uh, the drop rate, although it was lowered significantly, it feels a lot better from when the PTR first hit. Uh, it's still fairly high, and with ev pretty much everyone farming for them, uh, it doesn't take long for the people to be able to get the ones they want. Uh, however, one of my subscribers told me that they sold one of the Marquise Emeralds uh, plants for 50 million uh, early on in the day, so that was pretty good. I think it was even a bit higher before that, uh, and but now I think it's below 10 million, so... That, that sort of gives you guys an indication of how much the price is dropping just over one day. Basically, uh, people with a lot of money who wanted to get straight into crafting some of the best gear in the game uh, were happy to you know, blow 50 million on a plan just so that they could get it straight away and start crafting without farming it for themselves and relying on RNG. So maybe you guys had a chance to turn some quick profit. I've decided to hold on to all of mine. I could have sold some of these for you know and made a couple million gold, but in the end it was kind of fun to save up these and sh so I could show you guys my haul by the end of the day. So yeah, so a pretty good amount of demonics and pretty good amount of plans for just three to four hours uh, farming. I feel it's pretty satisfying drop rate overall. Uh, some other notable things were the reflect damage, the new reflect damage uh, effect on uh, enemies is really noticeable, looks really cool. Uh, it makes sense, like it reminds you of reflect damage in Diablo 2, and sort of like what you would imagine to look like, sort of like spikes, you know, like, oh, don't shoot them because they're all spiky. <laughs> so that was, that was a pretty cool change. And then by far, the biggest change in patch 1.0.7 is this. Hallelujah. Alright. You can, yep, you can vanishing die legendaries yet. Now, you can't color die them yet. Hopefully they do uh, implement that, because I'd like to uh, dye my blue pants black or something, but <laughs> the vanishing dye is pretty awesome. I can finally get rid of that Ninja Turtles helmet there. So um, that's pretty cool stuff. Overall, I've been really enjoying my time on the patch today, and I'm keen to sort of get stuck into some crafting. Maybe I'll give you guys a bit of a recap if I if the crafting goes pretty well for me or something like that. 
Uh, but I'm keen to hear your guys' experiences with the first day, how, have you, how are you finding the new content, especially if you didn't get a chance to get on the PTR, how are you enjoying PvP and the new crafting, like farming up the plans and all that. Have you crafted anything, gotten any trifectors? Uh, a few people have shown me some of the amulets they've crafted so far and they've been pretty good stuff, so pretty cool. Let me, guys, uh, let me know what you guys have experienced in the comments below. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.